The contamination of sports supplements can no longer be held responsible for doping violations. Athletes, coaches, nutritionists and sports authorities in general need to understand that provided the supplement has been adequately tested, the risks of contamination are negligible. We cannot bury our heads uh, in the sand about uh, sports supplements to say that you know it's a strict liability and don't take it. Uh, it is out there, it's in the market. Um, athletes, parents, uh, the sporting public are asking questions. We want to take this, does it work, is it safe? There are certain individuals that would take a very hard line approach and, uh, and insist that athletes uh, don't take supplementation, don't uh, consume any supplements at all. And that's not necessarily a pragmatic approach in terms of the fact that athletes will look for performance advantages and will uh, um, uh, use supplements going forward. There is testing out there now that allows athletes and allows sports authorities to take some choices about precisely which supplements they take. There is equally still an issue with regard to contamination. Purchasing products, popular products, popular brands from around uh, European countries, so products that are available widely in Europe, um, and again conducted uh, testing of those products and found again 10% of those products are contaminated with either anabolic steroids or stimulants or in some cases both. Contamination is a real issue that uh, obviously with the latest uh, batch of European testing showing a, a 1 in 10 risk for random supplements uh, selected uh, from the industry, um, that's a, a, a very significant risk. And at the end of the day we're trying to make these sporting greats or prominent these sporting greats that are emerging aware of the fact that they are responsible for what they take. It's not their coaches, it's nobody else. They need to know what is in the product before they take it. So if they are banned, it is basically their problem and not their coaches or the people down the line. They must look at themselves and that's what we're trying to teach the youngsters at school. If we can bring that breed through, we're going to really do something big for sport in the years to come.